It is amazing. It is the amazing Easter bank holiday, but we are staying home. We are saving lives. We know that we must, we must stay home and we must save lives. So ladies and gentlemen, do the right thing. Oh, do the right thing. Stay home and save lives. This is Jaywick Daily Lives during coronavirus crisis, just to basically bring us all together so we can all find out what we've all been up to to get over the corona, coronavirus. We must all come together to find out how to overcome this. Now look at my views, ladies and gentlemen. I have got a ladder that brought me all the way here and now I am above the road. And as you can see, the road is down there. And as you can see, I like to do Jaywick Live J Week Daily Lives, I like to do it on my watchtower, so I'm high above everybody else in natural remedy, and it's nice to share it with all of you. Welcome to the Costa del J Week. Shine on everybody. So hello everybody, and I am sunbathing today because I want to get to Santa and why would I not? And there we go ladies and gentlemen, Jaywick Daily Lives. I'm just setting this up. Okay, here we go. Right, we can see the road behind me. the road behind. There you go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today, today is April and this is the year 2020 and we are doing Jaywick Daily Lives. Every day I do this program so we can all find out how we're getting through the coronavirus crisis, what we do to get over it, how we're staying home to save lives, how we're interacting with each other to make this world a much better place. Now, I just walked on my hour exercise all the way to Martello Tower, from my house to Martello Tower, and I did the long journey, and it took me about half an hour to get to Martello Tower. Then I turned around and walked all the way back. I did that with my dog, with my dog Dylan, and I'll tell you what, it felt so good, just to basically exercise. And I walked non-stop, there was no sitting around, there was no having a picnic, there was no having a barbecue. I did make videos, but I make videos while I'm walking. I don't stop still and cause problems, and I, you know, even though I'm doing my exercise, I'm not coming into um, contact with anybody, I'm not taking no risk. And that is what everyone must do. Even though we have our exercise, it doesn't mean we can stop and chat to our friends. This virus is deadly. We could be a carrier, and we don't even know we're a carrier. And you could talk to someone, and that person could die. And that person could talk to someone, then that person could die. Then how would that make you feel, that you passed on the virus without knowing it? We need to all presume that we've got it. We need to all think, right, it could be me. Let's just all stay home, and let's all save lives. That's why I've invented J Wick Daily Lives. This, this is how we can communicate with each other and stop ourselves from risking lives. Ladies and gentlemen, we can make a difference. We can save lives. All we need to do is to stay home. Now that ain't so bad. It's not as if they're asking you to go to HMP somewhere, is it? It's not like they're telling you to go to somewhere that you don't like. This is your home we're talking about. This is the place that you live in anyway. Everyone should love their home. We can all like we can all do upgrades on our home, we can all repaint it, we can all make it look better. I mean, everyone can do something to their home. You know, you can paint it, you can you can design something or improve the garden and make... Do you know what? I saw one of my friends earlier on my walk and he said, I bet everybody's house is really clean now. Yeah, you bet it is. Everyone's house is clean. The reason our houses are clean is there's nothing else to do. 
shine on. I can hardly see. What's, why is that? If I put that there, so let me put that there. So ladies and gentlemen, I was having trouble seeing you then, but I can see you much better now. Give me, give me. Do -do. Okay, lovely. So we've got the mighty Jimmy Harris watching. Hello, Jimmy Harris. Shine on Jimmy Harris, he's a good man. You're all good people, by the way. Jimmy Harris, we got Fionn, uh, my friend from Holland, shine on, Catherine Hemingway, shine on Catherine, and we got Mark G. Lewis, shine on Mark, and we got Sylvia, shine on Sylvia, and we got Ch Tracy Newberry, shine on Tracy, we've got Carp King, shine on, shine on Mr. Carp King. And we've got Tristan Wallace. Hello, Mr. Wallace. Shine on, brother. I hope you are ready for poker tonight. Tonight, we are all going to play poker together forever because we are great friends. Shine on, Mr. Wallace, brother, and Bev. So shine on to Jimmy. Shine on, shine on, shine on. Shine on, Catherine. Shine on, Mark. Lovely. And shine on to Tracy. What wall shine on Nicola Nicola shine on Nicola Overton and we got Dana still waiting for a message if you still want Woodfella. Dana, I'm not allowed to make unnecessary journeys. So I can I can't come and get the wood just for that reason. Because it's an unnecessary journey and I do not want to put people at risk. So do whatever you want to do with the wood because I'm not able to collect it because it's an unnecessary journey for me. If there's any way it can come to my house, I would love it. But I'm not going to risk life just for wood. So until I'm allowed to go on any trips to get it, I'm, I'll have to decline the wood. But if you can keep it until I'm allowed to get it, that would be really nice, Dana. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Shine on, Dana. And Joanne, we love you. Shine on. Hello, Joanne. Shine on, Joanne and Dan. Lovely Joanne and Dan, we love them very much. And we've got Peter Brown. Hi, if you get a chance, watch a film called Con 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 Again. It was made in 2011, very strange. Like, yes, Peter Brown, I heard about this. Basically, it's about a virus, isn't it? My friend Martin told me about it. And Martin said to me, this is basically, that film you're talking about is basically what is happening now. And I've heard about this. Thank you, Pete, Peter Brown. My great friend Martin told me about this already. He says, I need to watch it. And we've got Emma. Shine on to Emma. And we've got Amanda. So true. Shine on, Amanda. Shine on, shine on. And I've escaped from HMP. Joanne. Shh. <laughs> so shine on to Vicky. Shine on to Joanne. And we've got Cliff Dean. Shine on. Oi, oi. Hello, Cliff. Shine on, Cliff. And we got Cena, shine on Chris, Cena. And we got Joanne, shine on Joanne. And we got Richard, shine on Richard. And we got Scylla, shine on Scylla. And we got Carol and Horton Kelly. My Karen, a nurse on the front line, she has now got a coronavirus. She puts her life on the line for pricks who can't stay home. But they're out in parks. I'm so angry. She has a young child too. Carol, I am so angry with you. That is such a horrible, horrible feeling. I pray for you and I pray for your daughter. And people should listen to Carol's message. Carol, she has a daughter called Karen and she is a nurse on the front line. And she has now got coronavirus. She has put her life on, she has put her life on the line for pricks who can't stay at home, but they're out in parks. I am so angry. She has a young child too. Carol, I am with you and your daughter, and I am encouraging people to stay home, and this is so sad for you. Shine on, Carol, to you and yours. 
very, very emotional from Carol. I can totally understand why she's angry. Her daughter's gone out to save lives and people are going out in parks, risking people's lives when the real people that are trying to save people's lives are catching the infection. It's disgusting. You need to stay home to save lives. And that, that's all there is to it. Shine on to Cliff Dean. Shine on to Malice. Shine on to Mark. And shine on to Dana. Okay, mate, I completely understand. I may be able to drop it outside your gate tomorrow or something. Dana, if you can drop it outside my house, I'd be so grateful. But if you can't, no problem. I don't want to take the un unnecessary risk. But if you're going for sh food shopping or something in my house, you go past my house, then drop it off. That'd be lovely. Thank you, Dana. And we've got Joanne. Nice tattoos. Thank you, Joanne. I've got my tattoos in Thailand. So they all go up my arms from here. One here and there. I love my tattoos. They shine on. Um, so sad. So, so, so sad. Carol, your Kevin is in our prayers. Wishing her a speedy recovery. Yes, that is so sad. We do pray for you. That is so sad. Simon Lipstone. Sharon Simon. And Richard, hope you're feeling well. Richard, I am feeling very well today. I took my allowed exercise today, which I really enjoyed. And I walked all the way to my Tele Tower and I've walked all the way back home. And now I'm doing my j -Wick Daily Lives, where I talk to all of you about what you're doing to get through coronavirus. I'm telling you what I'm doing to get through coronavirus. So maybe some of you could tell me what you're doing to get through this coronavirus. I am also, I've also been writing poems since the year 2000. Yesterday, I read out the poems. I read out the. I, I, I read you the poems that I wrote when I was in HMP Norwich in 2001, the day the day after September 11th. So September the 12th, 2001, I went to court for a car crash. I was all legal. Someone drove into me, but they said I was unfit to drive through drink or drugs, which I wasn't. But because they didn't test me, there was no way of knowing. They just presumed that I was drunk or something, which I wasn't. Anyway, I got a year in prison for that. But I was a good boy, but I still got a year in prison. But I did my time and I came out January 2002 and I haven't been to prison since. So I haven't been to prison in 18 years. I did go to prison when I was younger because I live in Jaywick and there's not a lot of opportunities for me. There's not a lot of possibilities for me. So yeah, I put myself on the line and I went to prison. But I never done nothing to do with drugs and I've never done nothing to do with violence. No drugs or violence. It was just driving and handling stolen goods. It's still a crime and I apologise and I haven't done nothing wrong for many years and I pray that we all do what we've got to do in life. Shine on. So uh, let's read some messages. We've got Lauren, shine on to Lauren. Hello, Donna Mims. Hello, Donna. And we've got Lauren, shine on Laura. And we've got Richard. I've been watching singers on a group called Rock the Lockdown. Check it out if you're interested. Very nice. I'd rather, I'd rather do it myself, but no problem. Cheers, Richard. And we got the mighty Cliff Dean. Fish and chips tonight. Help me get through this virus crap. Cliff, we are allowed, out, we are allowed the things that we, we like. And fish and chips, I love. Shine on to Lisa Pratt and Joanne. We had a positive day. The happiest days in our life for months. Joanne, good. I'm glad you had the happiest day. You deserve it. Jaywick's a very lovely place. When this coronavirus is all over, we can all come to Jaywick and enjoy it. But until, until this is over, we must all stay home and we must save lives. That's all we've got to do to it. And uh, Donna Mims has just said something now. Oi, oi, Marcos, shine on Marcos. So we've got a Donna Mims. Here we go. Life after coronav coronavirus. Thank you, Donna Mims. Life will get back to normal. <coughs> Donna Mims has just wrote this. Life after coronavirus. Life will get back to normal after this. It just makes you realise how we all took life, for, took life for granted. Now being in this lockdown, we all had time to think of our pressures, 
how precious life really is. One minute you're here, the very next thing you're gone from your loved ones. How very sad. You couldn't be with them to say goodbye. So just please think about you. Leave your house. It may be one of your family members. If everyone works together, we can be out of lockdown and getting back to our normal life. Just spare a thought if you are lucky enough to have some outside space around you where you can get out. Some people people have no outside space with no garden, garden to go into. All the people who are selfish going out about doing their daily business, just think about the poor people who are, who are at high risk, who have been told to stay indoors for 12 weeks. The people who are doing their daily businesses, sorry, they had blood on their hands. Take a few moments and think about the, the poor NHS works. They pray each day, they go to work and arrive home safely to their loved ones. So please, all work together so we can get back to normal life. The first thing I will be doing is going out for a lovely long drive and breathing in fresh air and thanking the lucky stars we still have our lives. Thank you, Donna, that was lovely. And that is exactly the now on the head. That is exactly a great way of looking at things. Thank you, Donna. I will read that again at the end, because that was the best thing I've heard so far here. Um, and we've got Damien Francis Bone. Good afternoon, Dan, from Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Damien. Shine on and peace and love. And we've got Sean Manick. Shine on, Sean. And we've got Erica. Shine on, Erica. So, ladies and gentlemen, so what have you learned? Hello, Patricia. What have you... What, hello, Patrick. What have you all learned from coronavirus? What have you learnt from it? How will your life change from this? So, after this coronavirus is all over and we're all living our normal lives, how will this affect you? Will there be a different walk of life for us all? Now, let me tell you how coronavirus has affected me. This is my personal... This is my personal theory of coronavirus and what it's done for me. To take over the world, then nature has the power to do that. Hurricanes, tornadoes, viruses. The earth is more powerful than any human. Now, us humans, we have just been shown that the earth will fight back. And we need to really look after our earth. We can't keep going on burning the amount of fossil fuels that we're burning. We need everything to be renewable energy. We need to totally look after our earth. And we need to know what we are worth. And then when this coronavirus is over, we can all take so much more time with each other. Appreciate the little things in life. Going to see people, going out for a meal, going for a walk along the seawall, just being able to go to work. All of the things that we take for granted, we can't take for granted anymore. I don't know what happened to the human race, but we definitely was always looking for more. But now we've got nothing. We just want what we had. And all I want is peace, love and unity to all of the communities. So coronavirus, I think... The whole world will take a big lesson from this and we will all slow our lives down and we will really make the most of our lives. We will really work on what we can achieve together and loving each other more. And I've learned that social media is absolutely crazy. There's so many people on here that make fake accounts and do things to others that they wouldn't do to their face. And that that to me is really wrong. The way people hurt people on here. I wish people could like appreciate each other and if you don't like something on here then don't say a word just don't watch it don't do it i don't see why people watch things they don't like and then criticize it that's just not helping anybody just basically get along with things or ignore them there's no left or right about this just love or dislike but please don't tell people just leave them to it they're not hurting anybody you could be hurting them by telling them so how about just give them the respect that they give to you by not saying anything. Because trust me, if I wanted to go on some people's posts and I wanted to say some things, then I really could say some things. But I'm not like that. I do see things that upset me, but rather than rock the boat, I just think, nope, I leave them to it. Why should I be the one to tell them that their world is full of shit? Enjoy your fake world. Enjoy your fake life. I just leave them to it. I'm not going to get involved. Why would you get involved in things that do not concern you? That is the biggest problem of life. There's many, many people that get involved in things that has nothing to do with them. Maybe they should get their own life. That is what I'm learning for all this crisis. 
Just keep yourself to yourself. Keep your circle small. Even though I've got lots of friends on Facebook, lots of friends on social media, I've got a lot of enemies too. And I've learnt to ignore them and block them. But they've never even met me. They've never even been to Jaywick. But they still say things about me. They still say things about Jaywick. And they haven't even been here before. That's what makes me laugh. I wish I could have, I wish I could have time to look into their lives. I'm sure if I looked into anyone's life, I would find a lot of dirt. But that's not for me to bring up. We've all got dirt in our lives. Can't we just all ignore it and get on with our lives? Just because we made a few mistakes when we were younger doesn't mean we should be persecuted for the rest of our life. Can't we go out and help people? Can't we go out and make a difference? Can't we teach people through the things that we've been through so they, so they don't have to go through these things? I'm one of these people that learns from people. Just because someone's had a shit life, it doesn't mean we can't learn from it. We can all learn from each other. So how about we learn from each other? Instead of hating each other, learn from each other. And that is what I would like for a happy every day, a happy every night. Welcome to Jaywick, everybody. This is the beautiful Jaywick. So we have got, who have we got here? We have got, uh, we have got, good afternoon. Thank you, Sarah. We've got Sean, we've got Arika, we've got Patrick. Joanne, I blame government because too much conflict, conflicting information. Thank you, Joanne. Can you explain more to me about that? What do you mean by conflicting information? So basically, they're saying loads of things, and maybe they're just saying too many things. Can you explain that to me, Joanne, please? Thank you, that's a good point. Richard Colson, Donna knows what to say. Donna has been through a whole world of life. Donna's had it harder than the most. She's been in a wheelchair for many years of her life. She's been in a hospital many years of her life. Donna knows all about the NHS, and she knows what we can do to save lives. Well said, Richard, and well said, Donna. And we've got Patrick. There's a lot of idiots out there. Patrick, there is so many idiots. I wish the idiots would like, do something happy and positive. There's no need to hurt others. There's no need to hate anybody. Just ignore them or love them. Shine on. Jaywick Daily Lives. And we got John Herbert. Shine on to John Herbert. Thank you for joining the show. Richard, it is a beautiful day today. I have got my top off today. I am getting a suntan while I'm doing the show. I did bring my T-shirt, but it's just way too hot for that. Way too hot for a T-shirt. I'm going to get a suntan while I do the show. Just shine on to the Costa del Jaywick. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Richard. And we've got Joanne. Hello, Joanne. I've learnt friends are better than most family members. Yes, Joanne. Joanne, you can choose your friends. You can't choose your own family. There's a lot of families that don't appreciate each other. There's a lot of families that take each other for granted. There's a lot of families that use their own families. Now that is not allowed. You, you should be so loyal to your family. I think people think they can take the piss out of their family more than they can take the piss out of other people because they're related. But that ain't no right. I've seen a lot of people take the right piss out of people because they're related. You know, children taking the mickey out their parents, parents taking the mickey out their children. There's no need for it. There is more and more of it going on. What, what I think's happened is the biggest problem with life is as, as, as basically a lot of people had a hard life, I had quite a hard life. So when I had children, whatever I could give them, and in a way I did spoil my children and I did try and buy them what, buy them whatever they wanted. Whenever it comes to Christmas, I brought them loads of presents, birthdays, and I always spent spent money. I always paid maintenance every week to, to my daughter's mothers. Every week I paid maintenance all throughout their lives. I've never, ever, ever not paid my way. I pay taxes, I pay maintenance, I've done my duty. And that sometimes gets thrown in your face because when they get to a certain age, they then think that this should carry on. And when it doesn't carry on, they show you their true colours. This happens to a lot of parents. A lot of parents have been shit on by their children because their children were spoilt and they wanted more, 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 more. And the only way it ended was when the whole thing went boom. So shine on everybody. And if you spoil your children, you will live to regret it. The best thing to do is to treat your kids the way you want to be treated. And that shines on. Treat everybody 
how you yourself would want to be treated. And that is the solution. You know, you can't spoil people. But what it is, you try and spoil people because you, like, had a hard life yourself. You think, oh, yeah, oh, my life was, I had a poor life. I couldn't get this, I couldn't get that. So when I have a kid, I'm going to take my kid here. I'm going to buy my kid this. But then when you get older, you realise that this has done you no favours. You realise that your kid now expects this all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all guilty of overindulgence. We are all guilty of loving someone and we're all guilty of trying to buy someone. Because, you know, we just love people so much, we just want to give them all that we've got to show our love. But really, it doesn't do anyone any favours. So all we can learn from this is to try not to buy love. I've learned that you cannot buy love. If you want love, you need to give people time. You need to make an effort with them. You need to help them in ways that you can't buy. So remember, like the Beatles said, money can't buy me love. And that is the main thing we can learn from coronavirus. It's the little things that everyone's noticing now. Everyone's noticing the little things in life. And we've got Sheila, shine on Sheila. And we've got Richard. I'm looking forward to going back to work after all this is over. Going to the cinema and theatre too. Yes, Richard, me too. I am so looking forward to the little, the little things in life. I cannot wait to get back out there, man. It's going to be awesome. Right, who we got here? Hello, Julie. Shine on, Julie. Hello, Danny. Keep your poetry going. Thank you, Julie. Julie, you need, you need to let me know which poems to put in the book. I need to specifically know the names of the poems that must go in the book. I've so far put about 25 poems out. Can you please tell me the exact ones to put into the book? Because all I'm getting is little messages here and there, and I'm totally confused. I need to know which poems to put into the book. That is why I'm making the videos. So please get all the names together of the ones that must go in the book, and please message me and tell me the ones that must go in the book. Because I don't want to make, make the mistake of leaving the one that you love out when maybe that was one of my best ones. Yeah, I love The Addict. Yeah, I love, I love Dancing on the Zane Spot. There's certain ones that will be going in the book, no matter what. I love Dancing on the Zane Spot. There's so much emotion to these poems. They were written so long ago, and I would not now edit them. I would not now, with all my years of experience, write them now how I would write them now. I like the way I wrote then. And the way I write now is, is the way I've taught myself to write from them days. I would never, ever edit my poems. The way they were writ is the way they will always stay. And that, to me, is a proper artist. Shine on to Danny Sloggett's Real Life Dreams, the book. It is coming. But I need you to tell me which ones to put in the book. All of you people, please. Shine on. Paul Jones, shine on, Paul Jones. And we got Mr Duffy. Hello, Duff. Duff, I look forward to poker later tonight. Shine on, Duffy. Real friends are real family. You know we are real family, real friends. Shine on, Duffy. Real friends are real family. Well said. Hi, Danny. Shine on, mate. I see you're rocking the tattoos. Thank you, Paul. When I went to Thailand, the year 2009, November, until February, the year... 2010, I was there for four months. I got all these tattoos done, so I'd never forget Thailand. Now, this is a, a Pegasus. This is a fairy on a Pegasus. You see that? Uh, hello, Jeff. That's a star for my daughter, Star. That's my mum and dad on my arm. And that is a, a killer whale coming out of the water. See that? Killer whale coming out of the water. And then here, I've got a woman holding a sunflower and a love heart. And she's like a, 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 a fairy woman. See, see her? And I've got uh, Danielle and Star here. My daughters, Danielle Star. I've got a fairy here. And I've got an eagle eating a fish. And I've got a Pegasus on my back there. I love my tattoos. Thank you for noticing my tattoos. Ah. Ah, lovely. Okay. So, 
Thank you, Duffy. Real friends are family. You certainly know real friends are family. That's what we are. Hi, Danny. Shine on, mate. I see you're rocking the tattoos. Thank you, Paul. I love my tattoos. They are, they are a reflection of me. My imagination is in my tattoos. And we've got Joanne. Yes. Yeah, well, yes. I can. I am supported. I am supported living in Cambridge. High risk case. Rang about 12 weeks ago. Isolation to register. Exempt as care. Resempt. 12, um, right, this is from Joanne, ladies and gentlemen. So, Joanne Smallman. Well, yes, I can. I am supported living Cambridge high risk case. Rung about 12 week isolation to register exempt as caregiver yesterday. We were given permission to travel to Essex and we are staying with my friend, but we're helping each other. She's very vulnerable. We came in taxi, but like on the government site, totally different info. So, why did we get given permission? if in lockdown properly. Hope this makes some sense. Joanne, how did they allow you to come from Cambridge to Clapton when everybody else has been told to stay home? I have no idea. Maybe they need to, someone has, needs to have a word with them. Because that does not seem right to me. But yeah, Joanne, that don't seem right. Thank you, Joanne, for that. And um, we've got Jackie Parsons, Shine On Jackie. And we've got Daisy, hello Daisy Shines. Hello, Daisy, and your mum, Anna Claire, and George, and all your family. Shine on, Daisy. We are in Jaywick, and we are getting sun. We are having a show with the sun shining on us. Mwah. That's beautiful, isn't it? Shine on to Daisy. And we've got Julie. Shine on to Julie, too. And Patrick Tucker. Shine on, Patrick. Can't wait to get back on site. Nor can I. Patrick, I really can't wait. I really want to work, and I want to work harder than I've ever worked. That's all I know. Carol Proctor, hello, Carol, shine on. And we've got Jackie Parsons. Hi, Danny. Popped round the other day, but you were out. I hope you're okay. Thank you, Jackie. I am very, very well. I've done all my self-isolation. I'm staying home to save lives. I go out for my daily exercise, and I walk my dog, and I do my daily exercise. That's all I do. I'm not going to no places to do anything, because there is no places to go. I stay home to save lives, like we are all doing. I went to Jaywick Beach today, and I made a few videos that I'm going to put out after this radio show. I made about four videos today, where there was not one person on Jaywick Beach. It was amazing. Not one person. Everybody has listened. Everybody has stayed home. I saw the odd person doing their exercise, but the government said we were allowed exercise, and it's nice to see that people are abiding by the rules, and it's nice to see people are doing what they're told. Well done, everybody. Uh, Maxine McNair, shine on, Maxine. Shine on, shine on, shine on. And we've got Joanne. So we only come out, so we only come come out for our exercise, got essentials, etc. Then, but God knows how it will get more made to you laugh out loud. Joanne, well done that you're self-isolating. Well done that you're following all the rules. And I hope people can actually see that we are we are doing what we're meant to do. We are staying home to save lives. That is why I invented this program. It's like a radio show. It's uh, Jaywick Daily Lives. And basically I invite everybody I know to talk about what they're doing to overcome coronavirus. And we can learn from each other how we're overcoming it. So for example, I tell you what I did today, you tell me what you did today, and if 100 people do that, we're gonna have 100 different ways of getting through corona crisis, because all of us are staying at home, because all of us are doing what the government has told us to do. And the people that are not doing this, well, they should be locked up for murder, because if you go out and you risk lives, then that's exactly what you're doing. There is blood on your hands. You are definitely out of order for going out and mixing with people, because this is not no way over. You could be a carrier. You could be carrying this disease for months and years. And you can infect everyone you meet. And even though it doesn't affect you, everyone you meet, it does affect. And that, to me, is not right. So shine on. Hello, Panthic. Parfic. Hello, Parfic. Shine on. We like Parfic. Great Asian food, he does. So, Jackie Parsons. Hi, Danny. Just spent 14 days in isolation as I had symptoms of coronavirus. Felt so ill, it was scary, but I'm on the mend now. Well done, Jackie, for being very, very kind and staying home. 
I did that as well. I stayed home for 14 days. I did my self-isolation. And then I went out for my one hour a day exercise and I went shopping once or twice a week. Emergency shopping, not just for a bottle of wine. I'm talking about the essentials. When you, when you go shopping, make sure you're getting essentials, okay? Because don't be wasting people's time. The people in the shops are not risking their lives just for you to go and get alcohol or just for you to get cho chocolate biscuits. Emergency shopping means emergency shopping. And one hour a day exercise means one hour a day exercise. It doesn't mean sitting on benches. It doesn't mean sitting around, lazing around. You can do that at home. We can all sit on our chairs at home and lounge around. But when you have your hour exercise, make sure... Make sure you exercise. Push up, push up, push it up high, push up. Boah, exercise. You can do it. Bang, 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 exercise. And that's what exercise is, ladies and gentlemen. You move your arms and you move your leg and you might even smile on your face while you're doing it. Shine on! So yeah, as you can see, I like to have a bit of fun when I exercise. And I do have great fun exercising. So shine on. Jaywick Daily Lives. Can you please tell me how long this show has been going on for? Because here's Danny. Here's How's that guy? It's cool, isn't it? Shine on. Thank you, Jackie. That was a lovely story. It's nice to see that you stayed home and self-isolated, and so should everybody. All right. Hello, Pamphic Parfwick. We like Parfwick. He's a lovely guy. Hope I'm saying his name right, but I know he does the best Asian food and he's a great man. So, Joanne, Joanne Smallman, we had to go to get some essentials today. Even Daniel was shocked. People are social distancing. I had a bandana covering me, but people giving dirty looks for coughing. But I ain't got corona. Can't help it. Asthma. COPD. People so scared by this, but no need for them to judge. Exactly. Just because we suffer from asthma and we've got COPD, I suffer from asthma as well. And I do occasionally cough. It doesn't mean I've got COVID-19, though. So people should actually be a bit more nice on their reactions when pe they hear people cough. Some people cough without uh, COVID-19 because we're ill, we've got asthma. So people shouldn't judge. We should be helping each other. We shouldn't be hurting or hating on each other. We should be loving each other more than ever. Well said, Joanne. Thank you, Richard Colsom, the best man in Jaywick who does brilliant daily lives. Thank you, Richard. I am sharing all of our daily lives with everybody that is watching this video. So as I say on every video, if I have mentioned your name on this video, then please share this video with all of your friends. Then you can show your friends what you're doing to stay home and save lives. And you can say to them, I've got my mate, Danny Sluggett, he lives in Jaywick, and he does Jaywick daily lives every day to keep people together, to find out what people are doing. And that is a great way of staying home to save lives. Jaywick Daily Lives, we are staying home to save lives. Rather than going out and risking people's lives, we are staying home to save people's lives. And if someone else, if one more person does that from my films, then it was worth making them. But ladies and gentlemen, I love talking to you all individually. You are all lovely people, each and every one of you. And I've really got to know you more. So thank you for joining in to Jaywick Daily Lives, where me and you have really good conversations and we can all cheer each other up a bit. Because we're not happy, we all want to go out, we all want to have fun, but we also we want to save lives. So we must stay home to save lives. And through Jaywick Daily Lives, we are staying home. So please continue the greatness that we are all doing. And we've got the mighty Jason Jones. Hello, Jason Jones. I love Jason Jones. Jason Jones is a true friend of mine. I met Jason at Wolverhampton. We both support Wolves. That is right. We are Wolves. Yep, 
Yes, Wolves are tattooed on my leg because I love my football team. We are the Wolves, we are the Wolves, we are, we are, we are the Wolves. Yes, we are. Shine on to Jason Jones. And you was on The Voice, Jason. What a singer. He got all the way to the semi-final on The Voice with Will I Am. Jason Jones, I love you and I met your dad. Your dad's a great man and your son's lovely, Jax. So send my love to you and all of yours, Jason. I love you guys. We are the Wolves. Shine on, Jason. Um, and we got Kath... Hello, Chow. And we got my friend Chow. Hello, Chow. And we got Julie. I've changed my lounge around. Julie, I reckon you would change it around again as well. We're all, we're, all we're all doing is changing everything around. But I hope you're happy and I hope it looks nice. Julie, we are all changing just to keep sane. Because this is hard work, staying self-isolated. And, you know, we could have many more months of this. But we do what we got to do. We will do what we got to do to save lives. So how long has this show been going on? Can someone tell me how long this show's been going on for, please? I've changed my lounge around. Shine on, Julie. And there's my brother, Matt. Hello, Matt. Jaywick to Thailand. I love you, Matt. Give my love to all the crew. Yes, we do. Matt, we will be back. And Matt, you've got to come to Jaywick. Come and see me and Martin, yeah? We love you. We love you, Matt. Shine on, brother, Matt. And we've got Joanne. I ain't brought no alcohol. Brought my weekly rations with me. Laugh out, laugh out loud. Joanne, you don't need to explain. You're very ill anyway. You've got asthma. You've got COPD. You're not well in normal times. So this must be really hard for you. So please keep the faith. And please be, be okay. We love you, Joanne and Dan. And we care about you. You're a good, real woman. Mwah. Hello, Chow. Shine on, Chow. Mwah. Welcome to Jaywick. How are you, Chow? Look at this. Look at this. Shine on. So we've got Chow. She's in Indonesia. Hello, Indonesia. Chow, share my video, please. Share it with all your Indonesian friends. Share this video and show them what we are doing to overcome coronavirus. So please, all of you share the video. If you've been in it, you're, you're allowed to. I'll give you my permission to share this video. And Chow, please share this video with your friends. They need to know what we are doing. And we've got Chris. Hello, Chris and Lewis and Richard and Bonnie and the dad, DJ. Shine on to you all. And because I've mentioned your name, you should share this video as well because you are a part of Jaywick Daily Lives. Everyone that I've mentioned on this video, you are part of Jaywick Daily Lives. And that gives you the right to share the video. It surely does give you the right to share the film. Lovely. Shine on everybody. And uh, who we got next? We have got the mighty. We have got the mighty. Chris, shine on Chris. And we got Matthew Ivy. Matt, Thailand forever. Yippee, Kai, yay. Love you, Thailand. Love you, Matt. Hello, ciao. And we got Samantha Keating. Hello, Samantha. Shine on. And we got Joanne, 42 minutes. Brilliant. That means I've got about 15 minutes to go. 16 minutes to go. Thank you very much. And we got Chris Richards. Hello, Chris. Shine on, Chris. And we got Parfik. Hello, Parfik. You're welcome, my friend. I haven't actually tasted your Asian food, but I saw it and I was always busy when I drove past it. And I've heard it's so good. So please let me know when you're open somewhere and I will somehow try and get some food. But I will stay home to save lives. We all will. Chris Wood, shine on. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Chris. We are all doing a great job. Together, we are staying home to save lives. And that's why I've done my radio show, to encourage more people to stay home and save lives. Thank you, Chris Wood. My peace and love to you and yours. Hello, ciao. Mwah. Hello. Hello, everyone, you beautiful people. And um, we've got Danielle White. Hello, Danielle Wright. Wish I was in Jaywick right now. Danielle Wright, you are in Jaywick right now. Do you know how you're in Jaywick? because you're talking to me in Jaywick and I'm talking to you wherever you are. So in some sort of way, Danielle, 
You are in Jaywick right now. Would you like me to show you the views? Are you ready? Get ready to be amazed. Are you ready? Let me show you Jaywick right now. Here it goes. Over here. Over here, we've got the sea. So all along there is the sea. This is my Brilliant. So now you are all in Jaywick with me because you have watched Jaywick live today. And by being a part of this video, you all somehow are in Jaywick with me. And wherever you are, I am now there with you and through making these daily videos we are all in each other's lives and we are all doing something positive to stay home and save lives and we're not risking anybody by doing these daily shows no one is at risk I am not near anybody and no one is near me so that means I am saving lives because I am staying alone and I'm doing my daily shows online nothing no one is meeting no one is at risk no one is doing nothing wrong. We can all stay calm. We can all take care of each other. You should never look down on someone. You should never look down on someone unless you're helping them up. Don't ever look down on someone unless you're helping them up. That's a really good thing to learn today. Shine on everybody. So how long we got left, ladies and gentlemen? About 15 minutes, I would say. Brilliant. We're going to go into the next part of the show, which is... I'm all shook up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'm all shook up. Right, ladies and gentlemen, where are we now? So Danielle Wright. I hope that I've just brought you to Jaywick. Because I just showed you all around and you may and I'll get excited when I show people Jaywick. So shine on to Danielle Wright. There's Joanne Smallman. Hello Joanne. I eat a bit better now. When it's over, me, you and Donna and Mags and Bill, etc. I'll come treat you to a meal when this is all over. Thank you, Joanne. We can't wait to have a meal with you. We are gonna stay home and save lives. And when this is all over and we're allowed to go out, then we will go out and we'll have lots of great times. And I think we should have more best times than we've ever had because we've never been locked up like this before. So we must all make more of life. And we've got Tina Sims. Hello, Tina. Hi, Danny. When do you think this lockdown will end? I can't cope. Tina, in my personal opinion, I think that we're going to be on lockdown until June or July. That's my personal opinion. I can't see it getting lifted before then, because even though there might not be that many deaths each day, there was a thousand deaths yesterday, and I pray for each and every one of them. Hang on, before I go on any further, can I just say that all of the people affected by coronavirus, and all the people that have died of it, and all the people that are going through it right now, Boris Johnson and every other one person, send you my love to all of you, and pray for you, and say that you are in my thoughts. And I pray that you overcome this. And to all the relatives of people that have passed away, I am praying for you all. And I'm so sorry for your loss. And I am so appealing to people to stay at home and save lives. Because the people that are not staying home to save lives are making more victims. And don't they realise that if we just stay at home, that alone can save lives. So please, a big shine on, a big thank you to all the NHS workers, to all the frontline workers, to all the police, to all the emergency, all the pit staff that work in shops, the nurses, the front line, the police, the fire department, everyone I've met, everyone that is still working, all the front line workers, shine on to you. Thank you for keeping us alive. Shine on. So I think the lockdown will be over, Tina. I think it'll probably be over maybe June, July. I pray it is, I pray it is, but who knows. So I think we've got at least another two or three months of this. And... That's without us getting a second wave. There's been loads of talk about it coming back again next year and until we get a cure for it, 
and people stay at home, there's not a lot we can do. But I do pray for everybody, and I do hope that we all stay at home. So there you go, Tina. That's what I think. Chris Wood, just sh shred my mum lives down. Just, just shred my mum lives down there. Chris, I pray for your mum. Jaywick, at the moment, I've heard has had no corona crisis. So I pray it stays that way. As long as we all stay home, we can all save lives. And that is what we are definitely doing. And we're doing, this is why I created this daily show, just so we can occupy each other, find out what we're doing. We go a bit mad watching, watching videos. At least when you watch this video, you can interact. And I can talk to you, you can talk to me. And that is kind of how we get over all this stuff that's going on. So shine on to Chris Woods and Danielle Wright. Ha ha, yeah, I guess so. The views would be lovely. Thank you, Danielle. You are here in spirit. Through this video, I am talking to you, and that means that you are here in Jaywick. And that means I am wherever you are, because I am talking to you wherever you are. And this is what I like to do with this interaction. Wherever we all are, we all come together because of interaction. So shine on, everybody. Love you to meet you, Danielle. Richard Colson, the best man and Facebook live presenter in Jaywick. Thank you, Richard. I'd like to be the best in the world, but that's my, that's my dreams. So I will continue to do what I do until maybe I get the world. But we are the world. We are the children. We are the ones that make a better world. So let's start living. I used to love that song, We Are The World. We are the world. Jude, hello Jude, shine on. And Richard J. Paul, hello Richard. Good afternoon and good afternoon to you, Richard. Wherever you are, shine on. Right, and uh, Daniel Wright, yeah, you have, thank you. It's the first year I've not made it down. Hopefully we'll be able to come up come up in the summer. Daniel, I hope you can get here in the summer. But that every day I'm going live for one hour. So if you miss Jaywick in any way, please just tune into this show and we can talk about our memories of Jaywick, what we want for Jaywick, and when, is it, when this all ends and what we're doing to get over it. So we can daily come to Jaywick through Danny Sluggett's Jaywick Daily Lives. And please, Daniel, you're welcome to share the film. Everybody's welcome to share the film. If you're included in it, show your friends what we're doing to stay home and save lives. Thank you, Daniel. Your support means a lot to all of us. And we've got Sheltz, Sheltz Adam, shine on Sheltz. And we've got Jackie Parsons. I'm never going to take being able to go out freely again for granted. Jackie, that's another thing we've learned from coronavirus. I'm never going to take being able to go out freely again for granted. That's a very good point. None of us should take it for granted. We need to appreciate every little thing in life. Life is very short anyway. So let's just enjoy life more than we ever have done. That's what we can learn from this. And we've got Cassie Hedges. Shine on Cassie. Yay. And we've got Daniel Wright. My husband is making the ventilators for the hospital. Their next order isn't due till October. So hoping it won't take that long. Wow, Daniel. Your husband makes ventilators for hospitals. That's an amazing thing your husband's doing. Shine on to your husband and shine on to you. And when you both come to Jaywick, I would like to meet you and your husband and thank your husband for making ventilators. And thank you for coming to Jaywick. So shine on to you. You are the real heroes. All of you people are the real heroes. And we got Leon, Sarah. Hello, Leon. We love Sarah forever and we love Leon. Shine on, Leon. Yep, I've got this shit, mate. I'm in Burton at the moment. Shit, Leon. I'm sorry that you've got this shit and I pray that you get over it, my friend. Keep me posted how you're doing. It was helping key workers that landed me in this situation. Oh, shit, Leon. So basically, Leon, you was helping key workers and now you've caught coronavirus through helping key workers. Leon, you need to tell me more about that, my friend. Shine on, Leon. I hope you get well soon. Keep me posted. You, I'll care about you. You're a great man. Mohammed, we love Mohammed. Shine on Mohammed. He's a great man. He's a loyalist, as Leon is, as Danielle Wright is, and her husband. Shine on, Danielle. Love to you and your husband and to all your family and your friends. And when you're next in Jaywick, let me know. We need to meet up and we need to drink and dance and celebrate Jaywick. Because we love Jaywick. The Costa del Jaywick. Shine on to Danielle and Richard Colson. I'm hopefully going back to work in June. So I've been told from work. Richard, keep the faith. 
Hopefully we'll all be out of lockdown by June, but we've got to stay in lockdown until we have got rid of coronavirus. And that is what we must do. Now, do you know how in Jaywick we arrange, do you know how to move a television aerial in Jaywick? Do you want to know how? If you want to move a television aerial in Jaywick, you just, That is how you move a television aerial in Jaywick. Let's try it on. So ladies and gentlemen, how long has this show been going on for tonight? Can someone, and I've got to read some more things. Jaywick Daily Lives, here we go, one second. Here we go. So, let me see these messages. Thank you, Danielle Wright. Richard, I'm hopefully going back to work in June, so I've been told from work. Richard, I pray you get to go back to work in June. I pray that we're all allowed out in June. And that is my, that's my dream. Leon, Sarah, Peg, yeah, mate, but I wouldn't have changed it. You know me, I'm not fussed. I just want to get home to Essex. Leon, please keep me posted how you're doing. You're a great man. And shine on to you and shine on to Sarah forever. Great people, you always will be. Mwah. Beautiful Sarah, heart of gold. Jackie Parsons, I think when this is all over, we should all have a big Jaywick party. Thank you. Yes, Jackie, I think we should. And I think we should go down to the beach and that'd be wonderful. So Jackie, I look forward to doing that with you. And we've got Georgia, shine on Georgia car. And Richard Colson, it's for shooting aliens, laugh out loud. Shh, Richard, don't tell them out. Don't tell them what we like to do. They might want to do it themselves. And we've got Elaine. Hello, Elaine and Charlotte and all the family. We love you lots. And Donna Mims, 57 minutes. Thank you, Donna. That means three more minutes. Then I can start reading out some poems. Saturday night poems. And we've got Elaine. Yes, brother, most definitely. You know that, sister. You shine on. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have got three more minutes left of the show. Today, it's another day in coronavirus. And I know a lot of us are very sad and upset that we can't go out. But look, look, at, look at it this way. Look at it this way, everybody. Look at it this way. We are saving lives by staying home. So if you think to yourself what you've achieved today, you can say, yeah, I haven't gone out. I haven't done what I normally do. But what I have done is I have saved lives by staying home. And that is something that you can achieve. If you just stay home, that one thing, you are saving lives. There's no need to like worry about what you really want, where you want to go. Once you've done it, it becomes a memory anyway. So stop being so selfish and stay at home and save lives. And if anyone gets bored, go to YouTube and type in Danny Slog It. That's D-A-M-M-Y-S-L-O-G-G-E-T-T. -E -T. Danny slug it type danny slug it into youtube and then you can watch millions of films for free and i will open up your mind your heart and your soul and you have just watched jaywick daily lives where we teach people to stay at home to save lives if you've been involved in this video please share the video because you are a part of this video and please encourage more people to stay at home and to save lives, just like I'm doing. Shine on everybody, stay home and save lives. This is Jaywick Daily Lives. I'm Danny Sluggett and thank you everyone for you all being involved. And happy Easter everybody, everybody. I love you all. Shine on.